Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another redstone video and in this one we're going to take a look at my new super efficient tree farm. Now you may have noticed that I've been doing a lot of tree farming videos recently. First off, I uploaded my new automatic tree farm, then secondly I did a video where I tried to work out which was the fastest way of getting wood and I tested my new tree farm and unfortunately it wasn't as fast as I thought it was and a few simpler designs were a little bit quicker and now I have taken a simpler design and added a bunch of functionality to make it 10 times better. I'm really happy with the end product, so let's take a closer look. Now the concept itself is really quite simple. Over here we've got ourselves a lever, if we give that little fella a flick, that will activate the farm. And as you can see, all of our bone meal dispensers have switched on, these are all filled up with bone meal, and as you can see, even though they are firing out particles, no bone meal is being used, which is a very important point. Of course, that only kicks into action when we start chucking down the saplings. Now to use this, we just hold down the right click button and walk backwards like that. And as you can see, all of our trees grow and then our leaf crushes kick into action and they take out all of the leaves so that the saplings fall down into the hoppers and they make their way into this chest down at the bottom here. Now all we have to do is take out all of the wood, which we can do using our efficiency 5 axe. And we just go along the line like this, taking out all of the wood and it all goes down into our inventory of course. And as you can see straight away, we have got almost half a stack of wood really quite quickly. And then all we have to do is hold down the right click button once again and repeat the whole process. So just take out the wood. And we just keep doing this until we have a full inventory of lots. Now one very important thing to note is that you generally make a profit in terms of saplings with every single harvest. So you place down six saplings like that and then of course they all grow up. This comparator takes a signal output which triggers all of the leaf crushes. Now when the leaf crushes come in, generally we get more than six saplings back which means that you can keep using this for as long as you want. That being said, all of these leaf crushes, all of this redstone up here, these hoppers down at the bottom is all pretty much optional. The only thing that you really need are these dispensers, these dirt blocks, and this redstone clock right here to run the whole thing, and you've got yourself a pretty decent functional tree farm, however these extra bits do make it 10 times better. Now I am going to be covering all of that stuff inside of the tutorial, so you can look forward to that one, but if you do want to check this out in a little bit more detail, then of course there will be a world download down in the description if you do want to check that one out. But now let's crack on, and I'll show you how to build this thing. So you want to get things started with six blocks of dirt in a line just like this one and the first thing that we're going to do is chuck down our double chest there, that's where our saplings are going to be going, then you want to place a temporary block right there with your dispensers facing inwards just like this and all of these that need to be filled to the brim with bone meal just like that. Now we want to grab our hoppers and we're going to run those round in a circle so you want to run them out like that, then hoppers going right the way across like this some hoppers facing in that direction as well as two hoppers out like that and then lines just going right the way across like this and right the way across like that, right the way to the end and then finally make up this gap right here and that is all of your hoppers in. So of course those are going to be picking up your saplings, they're going to be dropping them off in that chest right there so you can pick them up and use them in your tree farm. Now you want to grab your repeaters and run them into the backs of all of these dispensers right here. Then grab your half slabs and just run them right the way across like this, all the way to the end of these hoppers. Then place blocks in that sort of formation right there, so you've got a sort of diagonal line. Then you want to place a redstone all the way across like this. A comparator just like that, set it into subtract mode, place redstone right there and then a lever and give it a flick and as you can see that activates the whole thing, your dispensers are clicking and they are firing out your bone meal so if you were to place down a sapling right now that thing would grow and if you don't want to build the leaf crushes then you've completed the design, it really is that simple, if you don't want to build all of this extra stuff then that is your tree farm right there but of course you probably do want to build the leaf crushes because they're pretty epic. Next up you just want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks up like that and then place a bunch of slabs going right the way across like this. This will prevent you from getting absolutely enormous trees that stretch out into the distance because those things are super super annoying. So that will prevent that and that is something that I personally really quite like. But now it is time to chuck in your wall of pistons. So you want to go two blocks out like that and then place a block up like this. You want to place a sticky piston facing across like that and then a wood block on its face and unfortunately you're going to have to do a lot of piston placing right here and this is going to use a lot of sticky pistons. Now this is going to be five blocks high so one, two, three, four, five and as you can see we leave a block from the top right there because there's no leaves that are going to be growing out in this space right here but now you want to go all the way across, all the way across like that and all the way across the end of your hoppers all the way here. Now for the opposite side, all you have to do is place your first sticky piston on top of that comparator right there and once again repeat the entire thing. So your sticky pistons need to go the full length of all your hoppers, so right the way to the end 
there, and then once again, they need to be logs on the front. They can't be any types of block, they have to be logs. They don't have to be spruce wood logs, but they have to be some form of log. So right the way across there, and then one, two, three, four, five, going up to that height right there. And once again, repeat the entire thing, fill in all your now for all of your wiring blocks, you want to go out the back of your sticky piston wall and you want to run blocks going right the way out like this, a block there and a block there as well. So it should stick out two blocks from the end, but then you want to place a block up like that and you can take out that block if you want to. And then you want to repeat the same thing once again. So that is all the way out like this and then a block up at the end. And finally, that one right there going right the way to the end like this and a block up like that. Now on this side is slightly different, just once again, blocks going right the way across the like that, but then you only want a block right there. And finally, yep, that's that one. And this one up at the top as well. And that is your wiring blocks done. And then you pretty much want to cover all of these with redstone. So redstone going right the way across like this, but then coming out of these blocks right here, you want to grab a repeater. They don't have to be set to any ticks, just repeater there, repeater there. And redstone going right the way across. And redstone right the way across like that. And then on this side, it is quite simply redstone going all the way across like that. We don't need any repeaters for these ones. Now it is time to start work on the actual activation circuit. So you want to place a comparator down like this, and this will activate when there is a block in front of it, because of course this dispenser here is filled with bone mills. So that's a smart little thing there. But that is going to run into a repeater with a block like this. And then you want two slabs like that. Redstone dust right there. Sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top. That's going to create your monostable circuit. You want a repeater set to two ticks. Then slabs going right the way across like this with redstone dust at least on top of these two ones. Then you want to place a block like this and you want to run blocks pretty much up into that block right there. So redstone dust there. And you're probably going to want to replace that block there with a half slab just to prevent any bud powering. But now it is time to zigzag this right the way up to the top. So that is upside down slabs going right the way up like that. And that there is that side all connected up. Now for the other side, it's really quite simple. All you have to do is place blocks in like this with repeaters running into that redstone right there. And then once again, we are grabbing our upside down slabs. So you want to place a block up like that. And it is going to be upside down slab there and upside down slab there, upside down slab there and upside down slabs there with redstone going up like that. And that is everything done. So if you place down the block right here, you should see that all of those pistons will pulse. And of course, if you flick this on, then that is all of our bone mill dispensing, which means that thankfully, our little tree farm is complete. And as you can see, really wasn't that hard, was it? But unfortunately, that's all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.